how deep I am. Look, up to my knee. <laughs> You're gonna feel dizzy. Silly boy. Hello, today is Sunday the 3rd of March and me and my son are here in the Lake District walking up Skido Mountain which is 931 meters high even though it's springtime today we're on a mission to look for snow and already behind me you can see the snowy mountains. This year it didn't snow a lot. Well, anyway, where we are in Lancashire, that's why we're going high up to look for snow. Our journey started from the English Lake District's town called Keswick, from the Millbeck farm. Look at that co contrast, green grass and white snow. So beautiful. We parked our car in the lay-by next to the farm and started our ascent up to Skido Mountain. That's the view from behind. You can see Derwent Water Lake. We started from Melberg Farm. There are lots of different ways up Skido. And I've never been from this way before, so we decided just to do this short hike to look for snow. What I like about the Lake District Mountains is that you can gain elevation quite quickly. In Scotland, in Scotland for example, you have to walk and walk and walk and walk for ages through heather and no paths so you can start going up but in the Lake District all of these places are quite accessible even though look there's no one else here except for me and my son I was worried about parking he's only parked on the road in the bay where only three cars can fit in but Luckily, even though we didn't go very early, there were only two cars there when we arrived. So people, and it's Sunday, people are still not flocking to the Lake District yet. Maybe when it gets warmer, it'll get busier. We're leaving Keswick and Derwent Water behind us. And now around the corner there, we're starting to see Bassethwaite Lake which is the only official lake in the Lake District. The rest of them are called, I don't know, Waters, Mears and so on. I'm going to see it in a minute. It's getting quite slippy underfoot. That's Bassethwaite Lake. Peeping from out of the corner. up to the do not oh! you miss me you miss me try again flip it now that's where the proper snow area starts now it's like slush underfoot for a bit, but it's going to be snowy soon. Can you get me on? How deep I am! Look, up to my knee, I'm climbing out of this snow and climbing out. <laughs> There's another hole. Another hole. The sun is shining on the snow and it's blinding. We should have taken some sunglasses. It's so blinding. I'm walking with squinting like that with my eyes closed. 
So many people are hiking in proper hiking boots. Some of them even had crampons on, spikes. But I always find it easier even to hike just in bell shoes because they have such a good grip and they're so flexible and light and easy to walk in and they dry quickly as well. Look how blizzardy lad. The sky joins with the mountains with the snow. We won't be able to see where we're going. Windy. Look, you can see things on that side. Yeah, this top is Carl's side. And Skidor is there in the blizzard. That's better, warmer. That's where we're going. Up there. Now, so, you're not here now, but this is the place where you were skipping down the mountains, the mountain where we first met. It's all covered in snow now. And that's where we went down. This is what, are they crampons or spikes? What are they? Yeah, spikes. spikes. What's the difference? What they look like <laughs> spikes. So crampons are heavier. goes away so quickly and then it comes back so quickly we're nearly at the top the clouds come in and go away very quickly right now we're in the cloud feels like there's something in front of my eyes so floating in 3d why is that When, this, when it's white snow, or... It doesn't happen to me normally. It's not the top yet. A bit further. Here, you can't see anything. I want to see a beautiful view. This is the top of the Skido mountain, which is 931 meters high. It was very cold and windy at the top, and it was also intermittently covered with a cloud. It's cleared up a bit. Let's see. point Look. Wow, it's just clear now. Look at it. It was so so blizzardy and then all of a sudden it just cleared. Stand on this side. We're gonna take a picture now, it's a good view. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> a man without a face. It was fun frolicking in the snow, so snow. And luckily for us, on the way down, the view <laughs> cleared up and the wind subsided. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my god! That's gorgeous. Look at that. It's amazing. Are you cold? No. Just your face. Look at all those mountains. Just amazing. You're gonna feel dizzy! Silly boy!
I can't skip like that. I'm just sliding. Quite deep. Woo! I'm sliding though. <laughs> I'm sliding. You can see now bus and sweat on this side and Derwent water on this side. I know. It is like a ski resort with proper snow. Gorgeous. Let's just quickly let's quickly have a look where it could be just quickly. Originally we wanted to go down that way. But it's very too much snow there. After probably my waist. So the path is not even trod on. So we're going back the same way. Same way that we came up. So I think down there is a stream with lots of beautiful waterfalls. We're gonna have to avoid it today. I'm on top of Carl's side now, 700 something meters high, look how it's cleared up. Don't fall on yourself, be careful, don't fall on glorious weather today we're going down now it's only going to be about over five miles hike not a very long hike but we've experienced all sorts of weathers it didn't rain but it was quite blizzardy and now it's all clear and beautiful we really enjoyed this hike hello how are you Gorgeous waterfall. That's where the other path was. Going down this way. That's what I wanted to do. It was too snowy at the top. On the way back from the lakes, just after junction 37, we stopped at the services, Killington services. And look at this, what we discovered this this reservoir lake, Killington Lake, which was originally made like to start the top of Lancaster Canal but these services are so great I didn't expect this just from a motorway services that's probably like the most beautiful motorway services in England there was this gorgeous view out of the cafe well there were two cafes there McDonald's and Costa and out of the windows you could see that lake so romantic 